I'm Chef Alex Page and this is Dishing Up Durham Summer Edition brought to you by Durham Tourism and Durham Farm Fresh. This week I have been working with the strawberries from Linton's Farmer's Market. The best. When strawberries are in season they are so full of flavor and so versatile. Not only did they give me strawberries but they also hooked me up with garlic scapes. If you ever see these weird looking things, definitely grab them. They have such an amazing sweet garlic flavor. I love just tossing them with a bit of olive oil, throwing them on the grill. They also gave me fresh peas. So I was like, hmm, what can I do with strawberries, garlic scapes, and peas? I had an idea. Grilled flatbread topped with strawberries, garlic scape pesto, fresh peas, blue cheese, before the storm comes, let's go. I'm gonna eat a pea first quick. Let's dish it up. Alright, so you could totally make your flatbread on the barbecue. I've makeshift on a, uh, a camper burner and a grill pan here. But what I've done, I've just used store-bought pizza dough. We've kind of grilled that off. And then we're gonna start building the toppings. We're calling this flatbread because if we called it a pizza with strawberries on it, it would be weird. So we're just gonna take some of those nice strawberries. There's like a thunderstorm rolling in here. Lawnmower is going. Chainsaws going, whippersnippers going, wind blowing, <laughs> strawberries on pizza, chaos. All right, I made a really nice, I made a really nice pesto out of those garlic skates. We're gonna dollop some of that on. Beautiful, creamy, blue cheese going on with the strawberries, with the garlic scape pesto. We are going to shell some really nice fresh peas right on top. You guys need a landscaper? I think I found some guys for you. Have a look. We've grilled out flatbread. We have strawberries, garlic scape pesto, fresh peas, blue cheese. To finish this off, how about a little bit of fresh basil? It's a nice purple basil as well. Salt and pepper, a drizzle of olive oil. Mm. And there you have it, a little Linton's flatbread. Keep dishing up Durham, guys. 